It ain't nothing. Cut that off. Cut that sh off. For real. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when every video I post. And I'll show you guys, make sure you guys follow me on all my social media platforms. Instagram, TikTok, Instagram, TikTok. All right, so let's get straight into this video. I don't know how to really title this or really how I'm going to word it, but basically this is pretty much how, like how to become natural. So what I mean by that is, if you guys are interested in you know rocking you guys curly hair um y'all want to start like a curly hair routine and like you know really tap into you guys like natural curls and stuff like that like you probably don't know where to start this is that video so um i probably have a better title than this but that's going to be this video if you guys need a hair routine um want to create one and supplies you will need to like the basic general things you will need to start your natural hair and like the basic stuff you need to know about your hair before you know you get started so all right so let's tap in like i wrote down in my notes so let me see if i still have it because if not i'm going to cry all right you guys so we're going to talk about the first thing first um you need to find out what i feel like the first thing you need to do to like start becoming natural is definitely learning more about your hair so also you need to learn the porosity so you need to learn the porosity of your hair so with my hair my hair is low porosity so which that means is i can't get moisture easy like i cannot my hair cannot take moisture easy so that means if you want to find out how to like find out your porosity you know the cup trick so the water so you put water in the cup and then you take a string of your hair and put it in the water if it sinks that means you have high porosity hair if it's in the middle i think it's just medium porosity i don't know if there's like a, a middleman name for that but that's like a middle porosity and if it flows to the top that means it's low porosity so i have low porosity hair so that means that my hair um it takes really a lot to like be moisturized like it and like my hair can be like tend to be dry a lot so that's the tea with that so that's what you need to find out is like the porosity of your hair like that's number one low key i number two i recommend also i recommend going to a, like get a consultation at like a natural um hair place so in one of my videos i went to um curly coils um I recommend them they are really good so if you guys are in the indianapolis area type in curly coils on instagram i'm gonna leave their instagram and stuff below i went there to get a consultation um they'll definitely teach you like more about like your hair and stuff like that feel like you can't like really learn on your own and also yeah so i will book a consultation get more like info about your hair you can see what works best for your hair but you're still gonna have to do trial and error pretty much and then also you need to see like if you have any damaged hair so um some people's hair like maybe like to, like sh like straight or like they curl pattern is not it or maybe people have like relaxers or something like you know you can't have a relax you can't be natural with a relaxer so you know you have to cut that off so that's like no brainer yeah you need to see if you have any damage ends like things that you know needs to be cut that's like fried like fried hair damage hair and stuff like that like you know that needs to be cut off cut that off it ain't nothing cut that off cut that sh off for real you know it's not gonna be able to work it's not worth saving cut that off okay so after you've done those three things and like you're ready to start branching out and tap it into like a, like a routine and stuff like that um so here's things that you would need so let's start with like essential things so number four like your essential products your essential products and your essential like hair tools for your hair tools i recommend i recommend a dental brush and i also recommend wide tooth comb for helping with detangling and stuff like that wide tooth comb is going to be helping with the parting situation and then the, um, the dental brush is going to help with detangling so i feel like you definitely need those those are essentials those are really like the main two essentials because you can low-key detangle your hair with your fingers too like you can also do that but if you don't want to do that like the dental brush is the best big option or like a wide tooth comb so i mean, those are really like the main two hair tools that you would need and also if you guys want to get like a scalp massager that's a good hair tool too 
that's gonna help like stimulate the growth in your hair if you do like a little uh if you get like a hair if you get like a scalp massager that's really that's a really good tool for like when you wash your hair that's a really good tool to massage your scalp and really stimulate that hair growth like you know what i'm saying like so those really the only tools you need a lot of times you're gonna really be using your hands but that's really the only two tools you need so for like the hair products wise like what is essential i can't really tell you guys what exact product to get but the type of product you like have to have for your natural hair you need a shampoo i feel like you need a shampoo and a clarifying shampoo if you guys want examples i can give you that um just let me know in the comments Comment down below if you guys like me an example of like a clarifying shampoo to try or whatever. I'll let you guys know in the comments. So just let me know. Um, but yeah, you I say a clarifying shampoo and a regular shampoo and then also a conditioner. Those three that's be in the shower, those are the three that you should have in the shower. I feel like you should wash your hair like every week and then clarify your shampoo, clarify your hair every month. And a clarifying shampoo is when you are stripping down everything, like the oils, products, like everything so your hair is gonna be left feeling dry so that's when you go in with the deep conditioner so that's like my fourth product to get is the deep conditioner you that's staple 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 you guys need a deep conditioner period so do that because that's what you need to do weekly weekly every wash day do a deep conditioner like you gonna notice so much like I don't even know what to say like your hair is gonna be so soft your hair is gonna feel like i feel like your curls gonna look like you feel like oh this is like the best my hair ever felt like like i don't know deep condition is essential like that's the key that's gonna that's the main thing to keep your hair moisturized especially if you have low porosity hair like me deep conditioning is essential essential okay you will need a leave-in conditioner so that's and this is for low porosity hair. Like I'm really mainly talking for my low porosity hair girls because I can't I can't really speak for the high porosity. But with us the low porosity girls, you guys need. So uh, I had to switch location because my phone was getting hot. So sorry if the lighting is not as busting as it was. Okay, but yeah. So like I said, and then after that, I feel like the last two things that you would just need is like like a curling pudding. Um, that's for like styling wise. So like a good curling pudding, and then. And then also lastly like a gel so that's like if you want to like slick your hair up and like all that stuff like that if you need like a gel and also edge control too but that's really not included so those really like seven product staples that you need to like get started and then also the two products uh the two hair tools that you would need as well so that's like 10 things that you would pretty much need to buy to like essential purposes i feel like the clarifier sent you a essential but like why not like it ain't essential if you really just get a shampoo and a conditioner that's cool too but the clarifying shampoo that's just a little extra a little extra if you want to do the extra running back for y'all so y'all will remember so like i said number one shampoo number two um conditioner number three deep conditioner number four leave-in conditioner and that's for after your shower after you wash your hair and deep condition that's what you put on after you deep condition and then after that, do you have your styling product, which is the like a cream or like a curling pudding or a curling cream or whatever that works for your hair. And then also you go in with like a gel. Um, I low key recommend Extreme Wet Line. I feel like that's probably the best gel to me personally. And I like Extreme Wet Line. I feel like it's, um, I feel like it don't really do that cast, especially if you like using it as a styling product. I feel like it don't leave that cast in your hair and don't leave it super hard like i feel like that's a good styling gel if you need it to like get your hair more defined so better than eco i use eco don't get me wrong but like if i'm slicking up my hair but i'm not really using that to style my hair if you get what i'm saying it's two different things but you can also use extreme wet line if it works for you to slick back your hair and stuff like that if you need to slick it back that's also cool too but sometimes the eco gel definitely kind of do slick back better no lie but like I said, if you're styling your hair, extreme wet line, for sure. Okay, and then last but not least, it's really coming up with your hair routine. Like, you gotta have a hair routine, period. Like, make sure y'all go write it down, like things y'all need to do on a weekly basis. Like, y'all gotta have your hair routine, period. So, I say period a lot, so sorry. <laughs> 
<laughs> so last but not least, y'all gotta have your hair routine together and stick with it. Like, so pick a day out the week where you wanna do wash days. Like, what's the most convenient for you for wash days? And wash days gonna consist of, you know, washing hair, conditioning, and then deep conditioning. And then you're gonna pretty much style it for the week or the next few days until you need to restyle it again. So like I said, pick a day that you wanna wash your hair every week and deep condition every week. Um, you need to start getting your hair more hydrated so it can like be moisturized and like slowly but surely start holding moisture better. Like low porosity hair, low porosity hair, but like you gotta kinda train your hair pretty much. So get started training your hair. So come up with the wash day routine. I really want to film one of those, but like, I don't know. I feel like I need to watch a video on how to like really film a wash day routine. I feel like that's like a lot of setup for me. Like, it's a lot, like a lot. I <laughs> swear, yeah, but like, it's a lot. It seems like a lot, but I do want to film one of those. I feel like those be hitting. But yeah, so get that together. And then also, about what like style you want to do for the week and what that can maybe last you a couple days. And then I feel like sometimes if it don't last for like, oh like a few days it might last for two days honestly you can go back oh i forgot one thing you need a spray bottle <laughs> you need a spray bottle i forgot to say that yeah you need a spray bottle as well so i forgot to say that too get a spray bottle so sorry y'all i keep changing locations <laughs> but anyways yeah but make sure you guys stick to your hair routine if y'all don't if y'all feel like your hair don't last like oh oh my hair's not lasting a couple days i mean y'all can always rebraid your hair like all y'all gotta do is use a spray bottle spray your hair and rebraid it like y'all don't need to have extra products like y'all should already have products in your hair so all you have to do is just rebraid it retwist it and then take it down the next day and then rock it again and then till the week is over then wash it out and just do it again like not gonna lie natural hair is a lot like you gotta find the right products for you so that's why i'm not suggesting products y'all gotta find your right products so i gotta find the right products for your hair so that's gonna be it's gonna be a little expensive no lie so trying different products try and error try and error it's gonna be a little expensive but that's what you gotta do with your natural hair so yeah so yeah but overall natural hair is like everything to me like everything so like if y'all really trying to tap into that like it's an investment pretty much your hair is investment kind of so it's an investment but those are really like the main things that y'all like have to have to do like to start y'all like natural hair journey and stuff like that so yo those are really like my tips and everything just to get started if you guys have any questions or anything like that or want me to film like another video relating to like hair tips and everything like that let me know in the comments below but that is it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys like comment subscribe turn on your post notification comment down below for new videos y'all want me to film and everything like that so all right you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next one